Now, it may seem too ambitious to talk about transforming the world, but the earliest Christians did precisely that. Today, we have the same opportunity. Gentlemen, we have the power given to us by the Holy Spirit to transform the world in the same way. Carl has an extraordinary capacity and creativity. Whenever he sees someone suffering, he immediately is thinking, how can we be of service? If anybody could be the poster child for Christi Fidelis Laici, I think it would be Carl Anderson. His life was so influenced by St. John Paul II. Wherever the church has needed attention, Carl Anderson, and the Knights are there to help. It's not just his teachings, it's not just his words, but for me, his presence. Carl Anderson brought the ideals of the Knights of Columbus wherever he went. This year's KC Coats for Kids program is the beginning of a program that we intend to grow into a significant charitable effort. This is what really the Christian community has to bring and it is a unique contribution that Christians make and that is the understanding that life is sacred at every stage of its development and regardless of its condition. Growth in membership, growth in insurance, expansion to new countries, innovative charitable initiatives, all these are the legacy of Carl Anderson's tenure as Supreme Knight. In the future, it will be a better day for Haiti. Carl worked tirelessly to strengthen the Knights of Columbus and prepare the order for an even brighter future. If you will join me in solidarity with these persecuted Christians, raise high your cross and join me in prayer. My brother Knights, what greater legacy can any of us have than to save the life of a child. One of my proudest moments as Supreme Knight came when I learned that we had placed our 1,000th ultrasound machine in a crisis pregnancy center. When we began, we were saving hundreds, then thousands, and now hundreds of thousands. And now we have saved one million lives. He's one of the most influential lay people in the Catholic Church. He's a backbone of a culture of life in the United States. Carl Anderson is a man of tremendous vision. Under his leadership, the Knights of Columbus has come to understand its own roots much more deeply. see this now for our own founder, Father McGivney, for whom we prayed for so many, many years. To be held up by the Universal Church for his example was just something uh, you might say almost overwhelming. I think it was Carl's faith that gave him not just the vision that everyone is a child of God, but the bravery to hold to that vision even in very, very difficult times. I would use three words to describe Mr. Anderson, clarity, conviction, and compassion. Clarity in his intellectual acumen, conviction in his faith, and the beliefs that underlie his faith, and compassion in the great works of service to those most in need, whether it be persecuted Christians or children in Haiti, the Knights are always there. The impact 
that Carl Anderson has made will be lasting for the Knights of Columbus. El señor Carl Anderson tiene este esta labor, esta misión y este corazón tan grande para unificar a todos nosotros en esta única familia de Dios. Más allá de todos estos talentos que tiene definitivamente es su corazón. Él palpita con los más necesitados, es una persona de Dios y es aquel que nos ayuda a vivir como verdaderos hermanos, entregándonos unos a otros. Standing here, I see what Father McGivney saw so many years ago. I see men of courage. I see men of conviction, the vanguard of the Knights of Columbus. As we extend the hand of brotherhood, we will continue to transform the world around us. Viva Jesus! <laughs>